Okay, so um, I'm going to be posting more content. I'm trying to start this YouTube channel. If you guys could support it, that'd be great. Um, I've been struggling for two years to start this channel. Originally, it was with a teacher friend of mine who dropped out because he couldn't make the drive out here. Uh, and then I kind of did some stuff by myself, although it was just me ranting. Um, but I found, I met with, uh, Habib yesterday and I realized just do stuff that f comes natural, like things that I like. So, um, you know, we did oysters and steaks yesterday. Let's keep it going, right? So today we're doing taste test of ciders. Okay. I've got six, no, five different ciders and a couple of surprise drinks. And we'll, we'll be testing them out. So let's get to it and see how it goes. I gotta put on my Miller Chill Shades and we'll be ready. Let's do it. We're back um, here on my porch. Let's try the. It's really windy and chilly actually today. Let's put on a jacket here. Um, okay, so let's start with the first one. This is one of my favorites from BC Okanagan Apple Cider. So let's give that a go. Shaking up. Pour a little bit here. Just good light kind of color. It's like a champagne color. Kind of sparkling wine. Very sweet. Um, this one has... It does not say how many grams of sugar on it. There's no label on this. I guess you have to look it up online. No ingredient label, but bottoms up. Cheers. So. Yeah, very sweet. Okay. Very light, though. Light and sweet. Kind of fruity, apple, flavorful. Um... Definitely recommend it for a nice spring or, or summer day when you want something light but still very sweet. Ooh. One of my faves, Okanagan. Okay, so uh, maybe the first one. I opened it a little bit just to get it, give it some air, you know. So that's the Okanagan, one of my favorites uh, that I usually get. Pour a little bit here. As you can see, it's got a very crisp kind of, I don't know if I can get a good champagne kind of color. Let's give it a go, very bubbly. And a smooth finish, like it's, it's quite a delightful cider, uh, the Okanagan. Um, from BC, not, not a local one, but still. Very sweet, very light, crispy. Great for, you know, sitting on your porch like today. And... Mm. Great finish, smooth, clean. Um, I give that a, I gotta say, nine and a half out of 10. Um, the only thing I'd like is a little bit more alcohol in it. It's only a 5%. I could see that going up to six. 5.5 and still being a good great cider so I think that might be my favorite video's over guys found the, found the best one okay let's try the next one I don't want to get too drunk for the video I realized I can only take little samples of each cider at a time so um yeah so that's what we're gonna do so let's move on to the next one this to the rest of them this one I haven't tried the, any of the others uh, except maybe the no I think I think that's all yeah so this is the Summers Bee Wild Garden crushed I've had the regular Summers Bee very the regular one is very sweet um, this one is supposed to be less sweet you know it looks very floral I guess so let's give that a go crack that one Okanagan left. Let's pour this one again. Very light. 
even lighter, I would say, than the Okanagan. Um, get a look at that. Ooh. Ooh, very different nose, though. So this is similar to wine tasting. It's so many different flavors. So ciders, that's why I like them. There's so many different kinds. This one has a bitter... Um, almost like when you get that smell of like rotten apple smell uh, or like stanky apples mm. <sighs> Ooh, but a nice finish it's very clean you don't taste any of that rotten apple taste it just tastes basically clean like kind of like goes down like water Um, like a bit less sweet than the Okanagan or, or the regular Summer's Bee, which is very intensely sugar-filled. This one is very muted. Um, you get that real kind of apple taste. There is, I'm interested to find out which apples they use for this one because it is very, what does it say there? Canadian apples. Okay. Well, that's the problem. No, just kidding. Um, but they're... Yeah, I'm not. It'd be interesting to find out what kind of apples because they're taste almost like the lighter, you know, those like yellow apples or kind of something to that effect. It's it's very um, like appley, but almost like the watery kind of apple flavor. Um, and like I said, a little bit like when you get a bunch of those kind of stank apple smells. Have you ever been around a bunch of like a rotten apple? Or an apple that's been sitting out too long. It's still very good. Very, as the can says, light and crisp. Taste, definitely true. Uh, you can't even taste it. The aftertaste is pretty much already gone because uh, it goes down like water, like I said. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one is the shiny apple cider. Um, again, this is an Ontario one, so we can see Ontario apples. Um, spit stronger. This one's at seven percent. Let's see that. So seven percent. I like the alcohol content uh, on the label. Let's see how it actually tastes. Okay. Ooh. Very different nose to it. Smell to it. Okay. Again, we see pretty much the same light um, champagne. -y. color to it the smell is quite different uh, that might have to do with the alcohol content let's give it a go it smells very much um, very strong uh, I don't know how else to describe it strong apple taste flavor mm. okay. Oof. that hits you right away so that's very sour um, tangy uh, the shiny cider, and you can definitely feel the the alcohol hit you. Uh, so that's a good content. I would like to combine that with the Okanagan to give it a little stronger punch. But that's you're gonna get a strong um, hit with this one. Mm. Ooh, very shiny. I feel shiny after drinking it. Mm, again, has that pungent apple. I don't know what's the Ontario apples or what, but both the Ontario ones, the Summers Be Wild and the Shiny, have been uh, quite hit with like a. You can really taste the um, the apple mm, in a kind of fermented way. So I'd like to see less of that for the Shiny, um, although alcohol content for trying to get drunk. Quickly, this is, I guess, your best bet. I'm a bit loaded after that last one. 7%. Um, so we got a couple more. Let's go to the next one, which I found the can was the most interesting. Called Don't Poke the Bear. We're getting a good shot of these. Don't Poke the Bear. Ontario. Again, another Ontario. That was 100% Ontario. So there's a lot of provincial protectionism that goes on. In Canada, unfortunately, um, I don't want to get into the whole thing, but 
it's, you know, God, it's so windy. Okay, before the wind blows me over, let's do this one. So don't poke the bear. Um, what can I say about it? Off the can. Ooh. See the alcohol. Okay, 5.8. So a little stronger than the other Ontario's, but not as strong as the shiny. <laughs> Some of the others, uh, but not as strong as the shiny. So 5.8. See how this pours and tastes. Again, we got that lighter champagne color. I guess most ciders are. I've seen some darker ones like beer kind of color, but anyway, color doesn't matter. Good sweet smell, uh, more comparable to the uh, Summer's Bee or the Okanagan than the last, but mm, but you can smell that uh, again. Those Ontario apples got to be different because. They have a, a stankness to them. I don't know if that's a professional term, but there's a stankness. Ooh, okay, that's a good one. So it has a ah, kind of a throaty finish, like a almost like when you throw back too much aspartame. I hope it's not like uh, loaded with, um, you know, additives or whatever, but it's. Um, Pretty decent. I say that one would be good with ice. Um, the finish is gives you that kind of raspy feel, like you've had a lot of sugar or berries or juice or something stuck in your throat. So I don't like that. Sorry, I guess I'm poking the bear here. There's an eye patch. I'm gonna screw with him. Just obviously got help making eye patches. Um. So what else can I say? It's it's not a bad finish, other than that throaty feel um, I'm getting some more again it's like a throat flavor which I don't like I'd rather the taste actually come on the tongue and not reverberate so I don't really like this one I'm gonna give this one maybe a 4.5 sorry I haven't been ranking the others I'll do a ranking at the end but let's finish it off also seems to have like a, a another flavor I can't quite identify very kind of plant tasty like a rutabaga or like a, um, something like that yeah not a good not a good finish on that one so I screwed up and the last one I had to drink is actually a Rattler um, which I thought, which I knew was lemon lime, but I kind of mistook for a cider. I thought it would have, cause it's kind of a, yeah, it's like, so it says a crushable lemon lime radler burst with juicy citrus and a fresh and crisp finish. Stay rad, sip rad. Okay, so this one's actually good. It has like all the stats on it. Like it has the um, kind of percentages there, hops, yeast. Uh, it's only 2.5%, so very weak. Um, I will drink it just for the purpose of this video, but I'm very mad that I bought it. So let's try this one. The Stay Rad Lemon Lime Radler. This is popular at the, at the LC, so you can see this. Okay, very, as it says, a very lagery, um, you know, yeasty kind of lager consistency lemon lime nose mm. Ooh, that's actually nice very refreshing it's it's tart but it's like drinking like a pink like a tart lemonade pink lemonade um, mixed with like a beer consistency so that, that's actually good I like Rattlers I'll do a Rattler video maybe next time so that's all um, Oh, and I have one surprise, so hold on a sec. Now time for the surprise. So, on my uh, walkabout today in Leslieville, I found, there's a bunch of garage sales, and I found these copper chalices. That were, I got them for a toonie, if you believe that. So a little, like, they have copper inside. They kind of look like, uh, you know, something religious, which I, you know, I'm into that kind of stuff. So, anyway... When I looked it up, I was deciding whether to buy them or not, and I gotta clean them out, but it'll be fine. It said online, a good drink to have with copper 
um, is like a copper cup or whatever is a Moscow Mule. So I went to the LC, I was looking for ciders, but I found not a Moscow Mule, but an original Mule. Okay, there's no, so I'm assuming the name has changed from Moscow to, because I've seen this brand before, Cabana Coast Moscow Mule. So they changed the name, obviously for political reasons, but it's a war, war in Ukraine. But let's try the original meal in copper cup. So that's a surprise drink. If you guys like these reviews, I'll do more. I should kind of enjoy them because I get loaded and do content. So it's kind of cool. So I clean these out. My roommate told me I need to do wash them in ashes or something. So let's do the original meal, not the Moscow meal. Um, some stats on this one. Small batch, milk, vodka, ginger wine. Um, they might have changed the ingredients actually. So it's 7% and stronger. Cabana Coast. Mmm. Fizzy. Okay, very sweet. Ooh, that's very sweet. That's very... It tastes... You can really taste the ginger. It almost tastes a little coconutty. Um... It might just be the tropical flavors, but yeah, you can definitely taste the ginger, the lime. Clean finish. Oh, you, can, oh, you really feel the vodka. You really taste the vodka on that finish. So a good, um, a nice, I would say a good drink to get loaded to on the beach or on a warm day, not a windy day like this, because you'd be kind of like I'm going to be kind of in and out of consciousness and hopped up on sugar. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but all in all, good video. I've got to finish these now, like six cans of alcohol. I also bought this CBD thing, pear lemon. Mix that with something, I'm sure. And uh, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll do more of these reviews once it gets uh, better weather and I can get some more alcohol. All right, peace out. Okay, so I realized after the fact that I forgot to actually, I forgot to actually rank each one by number. So let's go through them. First one, Okanagan. That was my favorite. So that's a 9.5. Okay, don't poke the bear. I didn't really like this one. Um, bad finish, just weird. I give it a 4.5. Summer's Bee, uh, Wild Garden, I will give a 7.5. It was actually not bad. Um, the Shiny, mm, this was my second least favorite. I'm gonna give this one a six, only because it didn't really do anything. I like the alcohol content, but I didn't really like much else about the Shiny. Uh, the Rattler, I would actually give an, a 7.5 to for Rattlers. This is a great, lighter alcohol, you know, summer day on the beach. I think that is a higher mark there, 7, 7.5. And then the original mule uh, in the copper chalice. Uh, I have to do this one again. 7% uh, alcohol. Can't go wrong. The copper chalice does seem to help. Um, now, as you can see, I need some help kind of remembering everything. If you guys, if anybody would like to be my co-host, please let me know. Until next time.